Okay, so for this question, we're given this differential equation and these initial conditions, that is that h equals 5 meters when t equals 0 seconds. And we're asked to show that h equals this result here. So how do we do this? Well, we've got a differential equation where we can separate the variables. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with this technique. If not, do check out my video tutorials on separating the variables under differential equations on my website, okay, or on my YouTube channel. Right, so assuming you're familiar with that then, we've therefore got, well, I'm going to get rid of the 40, multiply both sides by 40. We want to bring the h's to the left-hand side, so I need to divide both sides by h. I could write 40 over h here. I'm not, I'm just going to leave it as 1 over h. You'll see why in a moment, but it's up to you. You don't have to do this. You can just leave it, as I say, as 40 over h. We've got the dh there, okay. I need to get rid of the dt, so I'll put it on the other side. And I'm left with the cosine then of 0.25t, and the dt goes there. And I integrate both sides. So by Pulling out the 40, it just means I'm left with the integral of 1 over h, okay, as opposed to 40 over h. The 40 is a constant, so I can do that, okay. Integrate the other side as well. So all we need to do is just integrate this, get our constant of integration, substitute our values in to work out what the constant is, hopefully then rearrange our equation and head towards this result. Okay, so that's the method. Now we're just going to integrate the 1 over h. Should be familiar with that. That's going to be the natural log of h. So we've got 40 times the natural log of h. Normally I'd write these in a mod sign, but h, remember, is a height. It's going to be positive in this example. And so I don't really need to put mod signs there. Integral of cosine is going to be a sine function. That function is going to be 0.25t. But remember, we need to divide by the 0.25, that constant in front of the t. So 1 divided by 0.25, well, that's the same as 4. OK? And then we've got the constant of integration. And you can put it either on the left-hand side, plus c, or you can put it on the right-hand side. It's up to you. It's plus c. I did a tutorial on that on does it matter which side you put it on. The answer is no. If this constant here turns out to be 5, and I put the constant on this side and worked it out, it would have turned out to be minus 5. Okay? So check it out for yourself. It doesn't matter which side you put it on. All right? Now, I'm going to work out what that constant C is by putting these boundary conditions in. So let's just say we call that 1 and we've got our equation here too. So I'm just going to say sub 1 in 2, OK? And that will allow us to find our constant C. So if we do that, we therefore got 4T then, natural log of H, which is now 5, OK, and we get 4 times the sine of 0, plus that constant of integration, plus c. Well, the sine of 0 is 0, so that means that we're therefore left with c equaling 40 times the natural log of 5. And I want to substitute this back into equation 2. And what does that give us? Well, we therefore have 40 times the natural log of h equals 4 sine of 0.25t plus that constant, which turns out to be plus 40 times the natural log of 5. And as I said before, if you put the constant c on this side, done the same thing, you'd have found that that c would have turned out as negative 40 times natural log of 5, OK? So it makes no difference in the end. Right, I can see that we could divide 
throughout here by 4 actually to each term. So I'm going to cancel that out. That's going to be a 10. That's going to be 1 and that's going to also be a 10. And when you're working with log equations you need to bring the terms containing the log to one side. So if we just come down here, right, what we're therefore going to have is if we subtract 10 times the natural log of 5 from both sides, pull out also a common factor of 10, you can see we're going to have 10 times the natural log of h here. Then we've got minus 10 times the natural log of 5, so I just need to write natural log of 5 there. And that's going to be left with equaling sine of 0.25t. Right, OK, where do we go next? Well, we can use the subtraction rule for logs. That turns out to be 10 times the natural log of h divided by 5. And that's going to be equal to that sine of 0.25t. And now I could divide both sides by 10 and I can see we're getting closer now. We've got the natural log of h over 5 then equals 1 divided by 10 which is 0.1. So this is looking good. Sine of 0.25t. Now at this stage we need to take the inverse log of both sides, anti-log both sides if you like, and that leaves us with h over 5 equals e to the power 0.1 sine of 0.25. Should be familiar with that rule in logs, okay? You can see we're nearly there now because if I multiply both sides by 5, I end up with the result that we've got to prove that h equals 5 times e to the power 0.1 sine of 0.25t. OK, so I'll just tidy this up, just border this off down through here. And there you go. OK, so I hope you're able to do that one. If not, at least seen how to tackle it, okay?